Previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. What are you doing, Han? Cody introduced Bubba to alternative medicine. Have you tried acupuncture? Bubba was hesitant. No, sir, I haven't. But gave in if it meant healing faster. Are you serious right now? Whoa, doc. Since my brain season didn't turn out the way that I had hoped, I'm taking this bull to the vet. You've got a problem. You're going to have to get a new bull. Misty found out she had a bull problem and fixed it with a brand new bull just in time for the new breeding cycle. All right, well, put me down for 606. We got ourselves a deal. Thank you. Can you see that slide? Yeah. Right, go play. <laughs> At Jacqueline's urging, Booger spent quality time with Matthew. And I really want you to help. Whatever I got to do, you know I'll do it. Matthew, we did some good shopping, didn't we? It's going to be $322.59. And proved he could be both daddy and cowboy. Can we put some of that stuff back? No. 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 Never mind. Just pay for it. What I've got here is fresh from our farm to your table. A professional chef gave the Cowboys a chance to prove themselves. That's good. We, we got a winner here. And pitched his own business plan to the Cowboys. We've got the fresh beef. We've got some good sides. We could possibly think about doing a pop-up restaurant. Feels like this dream is about to become a reality. And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way. I don't know where the receipt is when we wait empty is. A missing receipt means the loss of a cattle sale. Oh my gosh. I hope we find somebody that can help us out with all the paperwork we've got. It forces the guys to look for a secretary. Hey guys. <laughs> Larry again. <laughs> Die rimples, they bought your grandfather's land, didn't they? Booger stumbles onto some news. I heard they had it back up for sale. Really? Right. That could mean a new old home for his family. I'd definitely be interested in putting a bid on the place. And maybe we can work something out, get you all out there where you can build you a big, nice house on it and have <laughs> about six kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's her first birthday. She needs more than a few things. This only happens once. Bubba and Kaylee prepare for Andy's first birthday. If this is how Bubba is for Andy's first birthday, I cannot imagine what the Sweet 16 is going to be. That's it right here. And surprise their cowgirl with one of many firsts. Oh my gosh, Andy. Well, gentlemen, where are we on the development of our menu? The guys present their full menu to Chef Bill. It's just a little dry. This is not seasoned. The black eyed peas aren't seasoning. <coughs> Can you not jazz it up? But the tasting doesn't go well, putting the whole restaurant in doubt. At this point, you're going to have to give the people their money back. order we're filling. We got to get these cattle sorted on the truck and get them away. Here they come, here they come, here they come. A customer called one of the group of 20 heifers weighing about, about 550 pounds. So it's pretty simple. You pin the cattle, sort the heifers from the steers, weigh them up, ship them out. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's get them sorted. He only wants 20 head. Catch on the boys. Ready, man? Ready. And Bubba's back there in the back. Just in case we miss one, Bubba can clean us up. There. Watch it. Watch it, boo. Have a cat, have a cat. That's a nice show lady right there, boy. When a customer buys cattle from you, it's very important that when you send the cattle, you send good cattle. Have her. Have her. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stare. Hitch. So when we pin these cattle and sort the heifers from the steers, you really have to go through them and sort out the thin ones, sort out the ones that are a little short. A heifer won't weigh four and a quarter. Ain't no way. Maybe sort out one that's not the right color. Man wanted 20 head of black heifers weighing about 550. 19 head, need one more. Actually, bring two more, because I ain't sending that old smut calf over there. Yeah, we probably need to cut her off, don't we? Yeah, we can't send that to him. All right. There. That last is the heifer. Last one's a heifer. Just right, just right, right just right. Get up her cat. All right, guys, that was number 20. I'll get the gate set real quick, and then we'll run them around the tub into the trailer. All right, let me push these back down here. We've got our 20 best heifers picked out. We're going to load them on the trailer and drive over and get a check weight on them. This order calls for each heifer to be 550 pounds. So we've got to have at least 11,000 pounds in that trailer. Ah, I think I am out. That'd be 20. Ah, gosh, I'm falling apart. Easy now, bubs. I could have put some Dawn dishwasher soup on there. You just slid through there a lot easier. We gotta get them with the scales. The scales are closing soon. 
We have to get the cattle up there, get the cattle weighed, print a ticket, call the buyer with the weight. Is the moment of truth? Call it uh, 26,720. Boogie, mind grabbing that paperwork? You got that paper. All right, I went it. Thanks, man. If these cattle don't hit the weight, he's liable to dump them right back in our lap. And hey, all this work we've done this evening will be for nothing. Minus what? Where's the other receipt? We'll minus them up. Get I, don't know. I don't know where the receipt is where we weighed empty is. You got it? Well, no, I don't have it. You had it. I know. I put it here earlier. I don't have it. Well, we need to look for it. You don't see it nowhere? It was in here earlier. It's not in here. Guys, it looks just like this. I had it earlier. I set it right here. I can't believe what's happening right now. I'm exhausted. My back's killing me. We've been at this all day long. If we don't find this slip, we're going to lose out on this job. Are you telling me you lost your driveway? I didn't lose it. I mean, it wasn't here. I put it in the truck. Where could it go? Oh, my gosh. This is why we need a secretary right here. So what are we going to tell the buyer? I don't know. He's going to lose his mind when I tell him we, we, we sorted the cattle and we went up and got a weight on, but I can't find the empty weight ticket. Well, two things are going to happen now. One, I'm going to call the buyer when I get home, and the deal's going to be off the table. And two, we're hiring a secretary ASAP. Let's go. I've had enough of today. Zoo. Let's see some animals. Even though we're getting busier putting this restaurant idea into motion, I'm still not clear to get back on a horse. But the bright side about that is, I get more family time. At this point, my back's healed enough where I can handle Andy again. So I'm using this downtime right now to take her to a petting zoo. It's going to be a fun day for both of us. Hey, you man, doing? I'm Bubba. I'm Chris. How you doing hey, today? Hey, Chris. Nice to meet you. This is Andy. Hey, how you doing? We'll do a little daddy-daughter date here today. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go see some animals. OK, come on. This one here is a capybara. Look at she, she'll be fine to touch this guy. Okay. If he comes over, she puts her finger in there, he'll suck on like a little bottle. Look at that. Look at that. Get down here and see if you can't see. My little daughter loves this guy. Look, Andy. Look. <laughs> is that cool or what? So they're, herb uh, they're herbivores? Yeah, yeah. The, the name capybara actually means master of the grasses. Master of the grasses. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, buddy. Well, let's see. What else you got here? It's hard to believe that Annie's going to be turning a year older in just a few days. I'm excited to celebrate my baby girl's first birthday, but I cannot believe how fast she's growing up. But one thing I do notice is that she's an outdoorsy animal lover just like her dad. But over here is the one I thought you'd like. We've got some miniature ponies over oh here. Oh, my. Yeah, Annie, look at there. Some ponies. Daddy's going to have to get you a <laughs> she pony. Is, oh. She's reaching out. Oh, no. Wow. That's what you need. You like the ponies? Daddy's gonna have to buy you a pony. I can already see that. Isn't that cool? There you go. Oops, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Your daddy had one when he was real young. Just like this one. We'll get you one of these, honey. Yay! <laughs> Sounds excited about that. We won't even ask mama about it either. I'm gonna tell you what I like about these horses. Oh, all horses, ever since I was a little kid, I love the smell of horses. Yeah, yeah. People say, well, you love the smell of horse? Yeah. Have you ever smelled one? They're like, no. I'm like, well, don't well, knock it to you. something you think to do, walk out and smell Yeah, horse. but I love them, man. Andy's reaction to these mini ponies is definitely giving me some good ideas to what might be a good birthday present for Andy. Say bye-bye. Hey, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye to the ponies. Hey, say bye-bye. No, definitely ready for a yeah, nap. Yeah, she's ready for a nap. Coming up. Best impersonation of a cattle call. That would be we'll new for me. A little deeper. Yeah. Come on now, what? Am I coming? What, what, what? Grits didn't come in a brick. This is not seasoned. The black eyed peas aren't seasoned. Can you not jazz it up? So far, this is the only thing I can see that you can put on your menu. Being a family man has become a happy adjustment for me. I mean, I get to do all the stuff that a daddy and a husband gets to do. Like, get an extra set of house keys made. Hey, Chris. 
Hey, Booger, how's it going, man? It's good, buddy. How are you? Good. You need some keys? I need to get my wife a couple of them. I'm going to get one and put in every vehicle, I think. So you got married? <laughs> yeah, I did, man. Did you hear about it? I knew that you were looking. Yeah. <laughs> Here in the South, in these small towns, it's not uncommon for people to know all your business and know all about your life, even though you hadn't seen them in a while. That's OK, though. I just call that good old community news. Where y'all living now? Well. We're still living over where I'm, I moved to, you know, after I lost my granddaddy's place. Right. But we're really looking for something with some land on it. But right. We've been looking around. The Die Rimples, they bought you your grandfather's mm -hmm. land, didn't they? Well, uh, I heard they had it back up for sale. Mr. Die Ripple wanting to sell it? Well, I think they sold it, and the people who purchased it are wanting to sell it. Really? Right. I haven't really given a lot of thought to my granddaddy's land ever since I sold it. It's just too painful. Papa, I miss you so much. God, I'd love to hear your voice. I got a good offer for that land, and I just don't know what to do about it. I sure don't want to get rid of that place, but I don't know if I'm going to have any other choice. And you just need to sign right here where it says Booger Brown. But now, hearing this, it's kind of sparked something. I might be able to get that property back. I didn't figure that place ever come back up for sale. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could get get it back. And oh, I'd love it, man. Make a home place out of that. I, um, man, well, that'd be a blessing, wouldn't it? Be great. <laughs> so how many of these keys do you think you need? Uh, just give me two or three. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shake this new information off. If I could get that property back, it would be a perfect spot for me and Jacqueline to raise cattle and raise Matthew. Is that going to do you? Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, buddy. Andy. Ooh, -wee, look at all this stuff. You're excited, aren't you? I am excited. I'm more excited than you are. For Andy's first birthday party, I'm gonna do a unicorn theme. I think it's so cute and it's like magical and mystical and I just love it for her first birthday. Look at all this, look at all this stuff right here. Um, she's a baby. She can't even have yeah, all that. Yeah, but I'm not a baby. And Daddy I don't need it. Come on. Hey, come on now. Look here. This Daddy does not need that. Normally, shopping with my wife would not be my cup of tea. But this place is awesome. I'm like a kid in a candy store, and there's actually candy here. Plus, I want to go all out for my daughter's first birthday. Anything for my baby girl. Hey, um, I'm going to go get a card. We don't need a card. Why? Because I have this planned out. We just need a few certain things, and we'll be good. A few? It's her first birthday. She needs more than a few things. This only happens once. I know that. I'm getting a card. Oh, my gosh. OK, you get your card. I'm going to go get what I actually need. If this is how Bubba is for Andy's first birthday, I cannot imagine what the Sweet 16 is going to be. Oh, that's cute. Sit right here. Sit right here. This is Annie's very first birthday party. She's going to remember it for the rest of her life. It has to be special. But wait, do one-year-olds remember everything from their first birthday? Ah, who cares? I'm going to go all out for them. Papa. What? What are you doing? I'm getting ready for the party. Oh, you didn't take that off your head, honey. Are you kidding me? Look at Annie. She loves it. What'd you get? We don't need all this, babe. We got pink flamingos. We got, look here, we definitely got to have them for the cupcakes, yeah. We got fancy, fancy plastic plants. You need to calm down. You're going to scare the baby. <laughs> I appreciate Bubba trying to help out with the party planning, but this party is for Andy, not Bubba. I think he's missing the point. Um, I got no, cups. Look, I got, we're I got not doing a cups. flamingo. Look, why? Why not? Because I'm doing a unicorn theme. A u unicorn? Yes. <laughs> They're beautiful, and it's perfect. OK, well, what, whatever you want to do, that's fine with me. I mean, you know more about all this decoration stuff than I do, so can we buy this, though? I know she like this. You can have that boa if you want that boa. Hope we find somebody that can actually help us out with all the paperwork we've got at the office and wants to be a secretary and a part-time 
ranch hand, I guess you'd say. It's gonna cost some money up front, but it'll save us some in the long run. There's two kinds of busy in this world. There's busy, and there's we need a secretary kind of busy. And heck, it feels good to be blessed by the latter. Well, the guys and I have lined up some interviews to hire a secretary, so our trucks can finally be trucks and not filing cabinets. Well, here she comes right now. Hey, ma'am. Hey, How are you? I'm great. Cody. Chelsea. Cody hey. Harris. Okay. Uh, Cody Brown. All right, nice to meet all of you. Bubba, nice to meet you. Nice to meet How you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Have a seat there, Miss Jill. <sighs> Sorry, it's kind of early. early. Early? Man, this is a bigger response than I expected. At least they all came in looking like professionals. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Larry again. Look, y'all made a mistake last time. I'm giving you a chance to correct it. Larry lives down the road. It's just like an itch that won't go away. Like last year when we was hiring, Larry showed up for that job. Mr. Larry, we got a couple things we fixing to ask you to do. All right. Can you say the big black bear bit the big black bug? Big black. Is this part of the job requirement? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you handle a rope? I can. We got a cow out. She's heading towards the highway. You need to call somebody to get up there ahead of her from being this rope gonna be a while. <laughs> Larry wasn't a perfect fit for us back then, but he just seems to keep coming around every time we're trying to hire. I can't imagine him doing our secretary work, but interviewing him, now that might be a good laugh. Larry. They've not been down this road. Well, look at here. I'm perfect for this job. I mean, picking somebody else makes about as much sense as putting lipstick on a rooster. It just ain't gonna look right. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. What y'all need? Oh, yeah. Definitely a good laugh. Here we go. We'll ask you a couple serious questions here, ma'am. Yes, sir. Have you had any kind of office experience? I have not. What's your background? Uh, office manager for 20 years. If we just come in here right now and threw a bunch of receipts on the table, how would, what would you do? We put them in order, okay. like, you know, food, supplies. Larry, if somebody was to call the telephone, you was working in the office, how would you answer it here at Faith Cattle Company? Talk to me, baby. You pick it up, what would you say? Talk to me, baby. Good morning, this is Faith Cattle Company. This is Kay speaking. Can I help you? I like, I like, I like, I like that. Class. Okay. Oh, class. Uh, well, that there gets the business side of things out of the way. Now it's time for a little bit of fun. What's your best impersonation of a cattle call? Uh, let me think of a cattle call. That would we'll be me for me. We like to go. Ooh, ooh. He's looking. He's starting to look a little bit. Keep going. I'm coming. I'm coming. What? 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 Come on, boy. What? Ooh. A little deep. Ooh. Come on now. What? Okay. Semi coming. What? 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 He ain't responding. We're going to have to sell him. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are making this decision pretty tough. I, I like your style, man. And uh, you're very respectful. And uh, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to discuss it. So we'll, we'll just get back with you and, and, and let you know what we, what we think. If we don't hire, you might come back next time and try again. But you never know. All right. Appreciate y'all's time. Thank right, you for dressing you, up, looking yeah. sharp. My number one pick right now is Larry. Larry? Yeah. I think Kay is the number one pick right now. I don't know. Kay just... has management experience. Man, oh man. We got a lot to think about, guys. Yeah, we do. Honestly, I think we're back to square one. We've done all this interviewing and all this hard work, but I really don't believe any of them are qualified for our job. It looks like we're going to have to keep looking. Let's go. Let's go on. Coming up. Guys, I got it right here. This is the one. Grilled chicken breast. That is an abomination. If you're gonna cook chicken back there, it needs to be cooked in a separate pan than the beef. Y'all make it sound like I wanna go into the chicken business. Man. Place needs a little work, don't it? It's a cute porch. <clears throat> Come on, Papa's old bar chairs. I don't know what's outside. You know, today I'm bringing Jacqueline out to see my papa's house. We still own the place, but nobody lives there. I also want to tell her about all the property around it, how it's going back up for sale. You know, being here really brings back a lot of good memories for me. And I would love to be able to raise my family right here, same place I was raised. Can't believe somebody's put corn on the corn feeder. Things about rotten. I guess the people that bought it are the ones putting the corn out. Funny you said that. Mr. Dobrip, well, he sold this place. Really? And the new owners, they're wanting to sell it. Really? Yeah, they got it up for sale. This is an awful lot of property. Do you think we can afford it? 
Well, I've been saving money, plus I've got the money I made off them Brammer cows. I could put all that together and I'm sure I have enough for a down payment. Booger's papa's land seems great, but I really don't know about this old house. It might be a deal breaker. We'd also have to consider, you know, the land's great, but we've got to live somewhere and I'm not so sure this house is livable, is it? I'm sure it's probably gonna need a little bit of work. It dang sure needs some on the outside. I get Bubba over here, man, he's a carpenter. We have this place fixed up in no time. It's awful close to the road, too. Well, we might could just leave this house here and go build one somewhere else. There's plenty of property here to build on. Trust me, I thought about this type of stuff for years. So you think we would just work on this house and fix it up, or do you think we would just need to tear it down? I never want to tear this house down. Man, I can just imagine him Papa sitting right there on that porch right now. I could walk around this corner, you know what he'd say? Hey, sport. Just like that. It's really sweet to see Booger reminisce about his papa. His loving and sentimental side really shows that he'll be a great dad for Matthew. Booger really seems to have his heart set on this, so I really hope we can find a way to buy back his land. <sighs> I ain't getting my hopes up, but man, it'd be a blessing to be back on the old family land again, you know what? That would be so nice, wouldn't it? Golly. I love that it means so much to you, and you've put so much thought into this. I think you should find out how much they're asking and see if we can put in an offer. That means so much to me. We gotta get to work on this menu, bud. We gotta come up with a list of recipes. What y'all working on? Come on, boy, we're coming up with a menu for our restaurant, man. Is she pen and a piece of paper? Coming up with a menu is very important. And at this point, we don't have a menu. So it's time to put away silly dreams, put down the stick and the switch, and go to work. We gotta think of some signature dishes, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta think of some stuff that's like, different, you know what I mean? I mean, of course we're gonna have a cheeseburger on there, of course we're gonna have a chili dog on there. Hey, what about a shrimp po' boy? Sometimes when you're looking for an answer to a problem, you just gotta talk a lot. And the next thing you know, bam, it just comes flying out. Blackened mahi-mahi. Red beans and rice. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fried jalapenos. Hey, we can get some gator tail. Hot wings, fellas. Really think guys dig deep. I'm telling you, people love fried mullet. I'm telling you, no. I'm telling you. Cheese grits. Got to go with that mullet, some cheese grits. Uh, let's see. Uh, We're running out of room. What wow. do you got right there? Risky. It's like when you're catching a wild cow, because you don't risk it. You rope him around the brisket. Guys, I got it right here. This is the one. Grilled chicken breast. That is an abomination. Chicken is an abomination to people in the beef business. I don't want chicken at our restaurant. If you're gonna cook chicken back there, it needs to be cooked in a separate pan than the beef. I do not like chicken. I do not like the thought of chicken. I don't like the fact that a chicken lays eggs. That's weird. Y'all make it sound like I wanna go into the chicken business. Guys, I'm just telling you. We'll keep customers that way. I can't really argue with Bubba on that one. I know for a fact Jacqueline loves chicken, like three times a week. It only makes sense to put a bird on the menu. So now, guys, what we've got to do, we've got to pick out what we're going to cook for Mr. Bill, because we just got a bunch of options, but we need to narrow it down. Yeah, four or five really good, strong items, like, that'll stand out. Uh -huh. Yeah. That will, that, will, that will say who we are. Right. You know, uh, for example, ribeye steak with sweet cream corn, rosemary garlic potatoes. Mm. Or country fried steak with a rosemary garlic potatoes. Yeah, ooh, and fried okra. Yes, sir. Oh, we'll start that it off with some fried mushrooms. Mm. Ooh, that'd be good. Maybe your brisket with your black-eyed peas, some cornbread, and maybe some cabbage. Now that we're kind of sorting out all the bad ideas, except for Bubba's chicken idea, heck, this menu's looking mighty nice. The next time Mr. Bill tastes our cooking, he's gonna pop up that restaurant quicker than you can say Bob's your uncle. I think it looks good. I don't think we need to hack on it anymore. I'm done. That's we're, it. We're clear-minded right now. Let's walk away clear-minded while we're here. What about you? I'm, I'm with you guys. You good, Bob? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, Bubba. Uh, Bubba, clean it up. Hey, we're just leaving it right here. here. Seriously. Coming up. I've heard through the grapevine that Mr. Die Ripple had sold my granddaddy's place. I'd definitely be interested in putting a bid on the place. I know that place means a lot to you. I'd like to see you get that place back, too. You know, maybe we can work something out. Do you have a list? I know. Look, I... Uh, Are you sure? Look, 
I got this. Well, Chef Bill loved her food, but it's time to expand. So I take it upon myself to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna take my wife and my little boy today. They'll be my inspiration, because I don't want this to fail. I want it to go good. You can never have enough, because I'm probably gonna run one or two batches <laughs> to gotcha. start with. Today I'm shopping for a few basic things that I know I can cook. I'm gonna cook some biscuits, black-eyed peas, some cream corn, and some grits. Heck, these are already cooked. That's cheating. I know it's not. I don't know how much sugar we're gonna need. Oh my gosh, you're gonna cause somebody to be a diabetic. Why are you uh, getting that? Salt, salt. <laughs> Mr. Bill does not need three containers of salt. Look, you save money by buying in bulk. Lord. I could just do instant grits. Nope. Which one are you getting? Both of them. No, 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 babe. You're not doing prefabbed cream corn. People wouldn't go to a restaurant if they could get the same stuff at the grocery stores. Misty claims that I'm cheating by getting pre-cooked stuff. Well, I don't see that as cheating. I figure that as a leg up. It's very important that we impress Chef Bill with this menu. I mean, this is this fourth quarter. It's fourth and one. Whoever scores next wins the ball game. This is a very crucial time in our future. Please remember, Chef Bill is a chef for a living. Things tasting good is how he pays his bills, okay? Say, so we need some better grits than that, Daddy. You're slowing me down. I'd already had my grocery shopping trip. No, why don't you get, like, some cheese grits or something? Well, they don't make cheese grits. You make the cheese well, we grits. we got to get the cheese in. Cody's loaded up with all these side dishes he's going to make. I hope he can deliver on what he's uh, saying he's going to present to Chef Bill, because this menu tasting is very important. <laughs> That's a no. That's a, he's sleepy. <laughs> we need to go. Are you uh, confident in everything that's in this buggy? I'm good. I'm ready to roll. Okay, let's Hot, get our little son. dude. Hot. Let's get our little dude. It's great. Hey, Booger. Come on in, man. Buddy, how you, how doing? you doing, man? Good to see you now, good man. Good to see you. Everybody treating you okay? Yeah. That's good, man. Have a seat. Now that I know my granddaddy's land's back up for sale, and I have Jacqueline's approval to put a bid in on it, I'm gonna talk to my attorney, discuss my options. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Well, Booger, first thing, man, I wanna ask you, how's uh, Grandma Brown doing? She's doing good, man. She gets some age on her, but she sure is a hard worker. Yeah, she's a fine lady, I tell you, sweet lady. You know, got married, you hear about yeah, that? Yeah, man, congratulations, man. <laughs> I heard about that, man, sure did. That's Thank awesome. you. That's the next thing I was gonna talk to you about. Her and my grandma, they hit it off now. They well, best friends. Man, you can't ask for nothing no better now. You can't. <laughs> that's, uh, that's perfect now. You know, what's funny. Last time I seen Jeff, I was down on my luck, signing away my family's legacy. It's just amazing how things can change in such a short period of time. Glad to hear everything's going great with you. Uh, but what can I do for you today? Well, Jeff, I've... I've heard through the grapevine that Mr. Die Ripple had sold my granddaddy's place. Yes, yes, that's correct. He sure did. I've also heard they're wanting to sell the property now. Yeah, that, that's correct, Booger. Sure enough, uh, <clears throat> it was an older couple out of Montgomery. Uh, they came down and bought it, and uh, his health is kind of failing, and he's interested in uh, putting it back on the market. What are they asking for? it? The couple, they're asking $850,000 for it, Booger. Whoa, that's a seller's market. They're asking $350,000 more than what I sold it for. I come in here feeling really positive about this, but that's just way over my budget. Well, that's definitely more than me and Jacqueline has discussed spending on a place, but I'd definitely be interested in putting a bid on the place, and I'm thinking somewhere around 650. That's a great uh, opening bid, 650. Even though my bid's less than the asking price, I feel like I at least have to try. If they say no, they say no. Who knows, maybe we can meet in the middle. I know that place means a lot to you. You know, family land, you know, you grew up out there. And right. uh, I'd like to see you get that place back, too. You know, maybe we can work something out. Get y'all out there where you can build you a big, nice house on it and have <laughs> about six kids. <laughs> Look out, <laughs> you know, man. That sound good, Booker? Good, buddy. Look at you. Good to see you, brother. It's good always good you. to see you, man. You take care, man. Appreciate your help, uh, partner. Sure thing. No problem at all. You have a good afternoon. You too, bud. Hey, honey. I'm going to you some sweet tea. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's Andy? Sleep, thank goodness. Oh, okay, you got the monitor? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I know, with all those teeth coming in, she, uh, she's been a little ornery lately, hasn't she? I know. She's not a fan of sleeping for some reason. I know Bubba's so busy with the cattle business, the restaurant, 
all his duties at home, and on top of it all, he has a back injury. I just want him to know that I am here to support him however I can, even if that's sitting down, taking a break, and drinking some sweet tea. I'll tell you what, babe. The last few days have been rough. Wow. We're trying to find a secretary, you know, to help uh, out with the cattle yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. And it's tough. So you weren't satisfied with not one of them? I don't even think there's anybody out there that can even put up with this, to be honest with you. Bubba's talking about how hard it is to find a great secretary, but he's not seeing a great resource right in front of him, me. I would be great at doing all that stuff, and I can do that in addition to taking care of Andy. What do you think about me helping? I don't know what the guys will think about it, but I mean, I know the business. I know how to do numbers. I've been around the animals, obviously. You help me feed when I come in late yeah, anyhow. I know so. how to do it all. I know. I'm not gonna clean your nasty truck. I'm not gonna do all that disgusting stuff, but I will help you with the paperwork. Well, I'll talk to him about it. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, let me go. All right, all right bye. bye. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Coming up. If we're gonna cook a piece of chicken, how do we get it to not feel like chewing sawdust in our mouth? I'm, I'm more of a beef man. We're not chicken boys, we're cowboys, you know what I mean? Gentlemen, where are we on the development of our menu? Because last time we tasted some food, I said we need to expand. We're done with it. We're done with it. Yes, sir. We've been preparing some delicious dishes. Well, I've got Chef Jekyll here. Uh, he and I are gonna taste what you have to put forward so that we can consider if we're gonna partner up and do this pop-up together. Mr. Bill challenged us to come up with a good menu. Chef Jekyll's kind of a surprise guest here, but heck, I guess you gotta be ready for anything at a pop-up. I just hope Jekyll don't turn into Hyde over some cooked steaks. Gentlemen, if you would, present your food. Yes, sir. Here's some grilled chicken. Dig on in, boys. It ain't gonna eat you. Chef, it seems seasoned. Seasoned fairly well. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but it kind of looks like they might like this chicken. I guess my biggest complaint would be it's just a little dry. Yeah. If we're going to cook a piece of chicken, how do we get it to not feel like chewing sawdust in our mouth? Did we put this under a brine? Did, well, I mean, I'm, I'm more of a beef man. We're not chicken boys, we're cowboys, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the one to say I told you so. But I will say in this case, if we lose this whole deal because of some chicken, I'd be heartbroken. I think it's time we moved on to the next dish, one that I made before their palate is ruined by the taste of dry chicken. Next dish is just some good old southern black-eyed peas, gentlemen. All right. There's a piece of bacon down there at the very bottom for flavor. I don't know any good southern god-fearing person that don't put bacon in black-eyed peas. I really appreciate you guys sticking to your southern roots. Yes, sir. You know, I was born in Georgia, so I grew up eating this kind of food. Yes, sir. Ooh. Did, did you put any seasonings in here at all other than the bacon? Guys, those peas are, uh, they're off the mark. Am I wrong, Chef? No, you're not wrong at all. O for two and we're not off to a good start. All right, well, let's, let's try something else. Next, we prepared y'all some sweet cream corn. We shucked that ear corn ourselves. Now, this is good stuff. Home raised, you're really gonna enjoy this dish. You can't always count on fresh produce in this business. It's sweet, it's good corn. You're gonna kill a diabetic, aren't you? How much sugar did you put in there? The way it's looking right now, this thing's going south, and I do mean quit. But it ain't over till the fat lady sings. We still got a few more dishes up our sleeves. I hope things get better from here. Uh, what's next, fellas? That's hand-turned butter. Now, if I don't get you cat meowing, I don't know what will. Freshly cooked biscuits, fellas. I tell you what, them biscuits might not be up to par with these cheese grits and cheese right here. Now, that's what you want to try your butter in. Grits didn't come in a brick. This is not seasoned. The black eyed peas aren't seasoning. Can you not jazz it up? At this point, you're gonna have to give the people their money back. Try that. Country fried steak right there. Really? See if you like this. That's a good piece of pig right there. Yes, it tastes good, but elevate it. So far, this is the only thing I can see that you can put on your menu. 
Man, I don't understand what we're doing wrong here. We're doing worse than the last taste test with Chef Bill, and this is supposed to be an improvement. Maybe we got too comfortable. We thought this was a sure thing, and it surely ain't. Well, listen, don't make your mind up just yet, okay? We've got some steaks right over here. All these things the chefs are saying, I mean, they do know what they're talking about. It's time to go for the gold here. We can't afford another disaster of a dish. Otherwise, I have a feeling that Chef Bill's not gonna wanna pop up anything with us. Finally. That's Finally. got some flavor. That, that's a pretty good steak. What, what did you do to the steak? Well, I actually come up with my own seasoning. I just put a lot of stuff together. I don't really want to take it. It's my secret, and I'm, I believe in it, and I think it's really good. And honestly, I think it's so good that you can put it on any piece of meat, and it's going to make it taste good. And that's what we're talking about. You have to be able to do stuff with the food that you're given in order to elevate it. Finally, I don't know why we didn't just start off with steaks. That way they could keep that steak taste in their mouth. Might have made other things taste a little better. I just hope Chef Bill isn't ready to give up on us. Guys, we got to get the menu right. Y'all are cowboys. Let's get back to the cow. Yes, sir. Dial the menu down, four dishes, a few sides that y'all are comfortable with, and that's what your pop-up menu needs to be. OK. Kay. Well, I wouldn't call this a success. But it's clear that if you want something to be great, you got to keep getting back on that horse. And that's one thing that us three cowboys know how to do. Go home, work on the menu for the pop-up, concise, well-prepared, thought out menu. Is, is that understood? Yes, clear? Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. See you later. Got a lot of work ahead of them there, Bill. Hey, Mr. Jeff. Hey, bud. What's going on? Did you turn in an offer? My attorney, Jeff, finally calls me to tell me what they had to say about the bid I put in on my granddaddy's property. I just hope it's good news. What'd they say? They didn't accept the offer. Did they come with any kind of, like, maybe we could beat in the middle or anything? The seller didn't even come back with a counter off from my bid. He wants exactly the asking price. And that's just more than me and Jacqueline's comfortable with right now. This is a really disappointing moment. Well, I guess if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It just sure is tough, because that property means a lot to me and my family. You know, this land is a really big part of my family history. And even though we still own the house, it just wouldn't make sense for us to move there unless the land come with it. My plans are to build a big ranch just like my family did. And this isn't exactly what I hoped would happen, but who knows? Maybe there's something bigger right around the corner. Yes, sir, I appreciate your help, I really do. Yes, everybody, thank you. Coming up. It's a unicorn party. You gotta have a unicorn horn. There's yours. No, no mail. Yes. Do I have to? Yes, absolutely. It's a unicorn party. Oh, you're beautiful. What's up with a unicorn? It's a unicorn party. You gotta have a unicorn horn. There's yours. No, no mail. Yes. Do I have to? Yes, absolutely. It's a unicorn party. Oh, you're beautiful. Today's a big day, my little girl's first birthday party. Since we didn't do such a great job with the tasting with Chef Bill, I'm glad we have today just to hang out with the kids, enjoy ourselves. Heck, maybe these cupcakes Kaylee made can inspire our menu a little bit. All right, unicorn party, let's go. You look cute, seriously. Don't you look good? <laughs> I am so happy to be doing this birthday party for Andy. My parents are here, and this is the first time we've seen each other since we moved home, and it just feels really good to have everyone together. Hey, Andy. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm pretty upset about what happened to my granddaddy's land, everything happens for a reason. And there's got to be a reason this didn't work out for us. In any case, I'm excited to have a nice, fun day with kids and cake. Mmm. 
Oh, thank you. Bubba, she wants her daddy to eat it so bad. Come on, Bubba, come on, Bubba. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> it's really awesome to be a part of Andy's first birthday party and to see Bubba and Kaylee with her, it just, it really gets me in the mood and gets me excited to see my little boy turn one in a few months. Although, you shall not see pink or unicorns in my baby boy's birthday party. I can't believe she's walking around like that. I mean, look, she's standing up, holding up that table. Yeah, yeah, she's doing close. I mean, she's really, really close to walking. Where's Misty at? She had to work today. Uh, what's up? Missy's just stayed so busy with the cattle company right now. I mean, she is just tied up. And I know it kills her not to be able to be here. And I mean, she's missing out on some good stuff. But I mean, that's part of being an entrepreneur. There's certain times you have to sacrifice stuff. I think time flies, don't it? It does. I can't believe she's already a year old, man. Goodness. It seems like yesterday she was just born. Heck, next year she'll be running all over this place. I know, it won't be long. In another month or two, she'll be walking around here getting into everything. She already gets into everything right now. To be honest with you, the next couple of years are all pretty good. Matthew, at his age now, he's getting, when he looks at me and says, can I go with you? I don't know why, it tears my heart out. I'm yeah. like, let's go, son. He's finally got that So what you're up. saying is, is you're getting baby fever. No, I ain't saying that. So you oh, putting words yeah, on you know, no, that's what you're meaning by I'm just trying to tell mean. you, you got you're another couple fever. years of really good times. You're getting baby fever. What y'all talking about? Oh, we was telling Bubba about the new horse. We got to get trained for him and just a whole lot. He's a full of it. We're over here talking about him having baby fever. What? Exactly what's happening. Being around all these babies really makes me want to have one of my own. And I know Matthew would be the best big brother ever. Now it's just a matter of convincing Jacqueline. I got a surprise outside. I need y'all to help me with it. Okay. I need you to gather up everybody and bring them out to the deck, but make sure Kaylee goes out first. Okay, Kaylee okay. out first. Yes, Kaylee Kaylee and gather them all up. Now the moment I've been waiting for, I'm gonna surprise Kaylee and Andy with a very special gift for my little girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, Andy. Yeah. Look! Very own unicorn. <laughs> How fresh is love? Uh, you see the pony? Oh, yeah. I know she can't ride it yet, but she can sure grow up with it like I did when I had a little pony. So. Wow. I think it's adorable that Bubba bought Andy a pony, but she's not going to be riding this thing anytime soon. It's a little big, but she will grow into it, and she's going to absolutely love it. Wow. And Daddy got you a pony. <gasps> Look. Oh my goodness. Look, Amy. <laughs> Don't let go of her. How sweet. There you go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it, everybody. Wave. Wave. <laughs>